Maternal Pelvis, The Passage Normal Gynecoid Pelvis This is the ventral or anterior view of the normal gynecoid female pelvis. This helps in forming the bony canal through which the fetus passes during the normal vaginal mechanism of childbirth. Normal gynecoid pelvis, the bones. The articulated human pelvis comprises of four bones, two innominate bones on the either side and one larger one. the sacrum and the other smaller one, the coccyx in the center forming the base of the spine and pelvis. Sacrum forms the rear of the pelvis and articulates with the innominate bones on the two sides. Each of the innominate bones is composed of three parts, ilium, ischium and pubis, the pelvic joints. The four bones of the pelvis are connected at the four joints two sacroiliac joints between the sacrum and the innominate bone on the either side, one pubic symphysis between the two innominate bones and one sacrococcygeal joint between the sacrum and the coccyx. Normal anatomical position of the pelvis. In a normal woman in standing posture, the bones of the pelvis are inclined in such a way that both the anterior superior iliac spines and the ventral surface of pubic symphysis are in the same plane. Pelvic brim The pelvic brim or the green line is an imaginary boundary which divides the pelvis into false pelvis and true pelvis. The false pelvis lies above the pelvic brim and has no obstetrical significance. The true pelvis lies below the pelvic brim and plays an important role in the childbirth and delivery. The true pelvis forms a bony canal through which the fetus passes at the time of labor. It is formed by the symphysis pubis anteriorly and sacrum and coccyx posteriorly. Pelvic Inlet Boundaries of the brim. The boundaries of the pelvic brim or inlet include the following sacral promontory, sacral LA, sacroiliac joints, iliopectineal lines, iliopectineal eminence, upper border of superior pubic remi, pubic tubercles, pubic crest, and upper borders of pubic symphysis.